Good morning. I'm at Eula Huffman's house. She is one of the heroes of the faith for me. Eula's dad actually was the founding pastor of our church. And, and Eula has known all the pastors of our church. And uh, in fact, Eula was the first baby born in our church. Now our church is 90 years old. Eula's not quite that old, but she's the first baby that was born in our church. And I'm gonna be interviewing her today. Eula, thank you so much for letting me come over. I just, I just wanted to ask you a few questions. I'm so glad you're here, but I'm also thankful that you didn't ask me and invite me to the beach. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I understand you were raised in our church and uh, you raised your family in our church. And over the years, you've had many different positions in the church. You used to be the piano player. You uh, served on our church board. You, you did so much for our church over the years. But through all these years, has it always been easy for you to pursue the heart of God? I, I would have to say not always. Okay. Can, can you think of one particular time where, where you just, in your life, when you just didn't sense the presence of God? Well, probably uh, the lowest point in my life was when I lost my husband. But, you know, um, there's been several people in our congregation that had the same experience, so they know it isn't really just me, it's everybody. And during that time, you, you do, you feel alone. And if it weren't for the love of all oh, your family and uh, your friends, and knowing that God is there, even though you couldn't f exactly feel it, mm -hmm. It helped. That's wonderful. God provided you with some special oh my. friends, didn't he? He did. He provided for me in a wonderful way and still does. I remember a time not too long after I first came here as pastor. Uh, my son was going through a very tough time personally. I remember. And I came over to your house and I talked to you and Terry and my hearts were breaking for him. And I asked you to pray for mm -hmm. him and pray for us. And you told me you knew what we were going through. Right. And, and then you prayed for us. And, and from that moment on, uh, my perspective changed on what he was going through. How has uh, prayer played a part in, in your pursuing the heart of God? Well, prayer is important. Um, I've learned that one of the things I do when I first get up in the morning is have my devotions. Um, I guess I learned that from my dad, who was an old time preacher. And he said he had to feed his soul before he fed his body. Hmm. And that's always stayed with me. So I don't feel right if I don't start my day with uh, having my devotions and my prayer because I think that's important. So prayer is important. Reading the Word, that's oh, part yeah. of your devotional life? Oh, yes. Is there one verse that, that you've looked back to that, that you just know God was speaking to you at a time in your life? Well, I have several, but one of them in particular, um, I remember I was going through a real tough time. Gary was um, he graduated from all of that and then he went to our uh, train uh, officers training Gary's your son yes the mm -hmm. oldest son and uh, it was during the Vietnam War and things were looking pretty bleak and somehow uh, the verse came to me and it's uh, Jeremiah 33 3 call unto me and I will answer thee and show you great and mighty things which thou knowest not and that verse has just been really special to me. Eula, you, you really are a hero of the faith for me. You're faithful, you come to church, you, you drive through the snow, you, you're always there supporting, you, you love your pastors. But I have one more question for you. Okay. You've known all these pastors through the years at, at our church. Mm -hmm. So who's your favorite pastor, Eula? Well, let me see. Um, <laughs> How about my dad? 